And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Dryptosaurus, which was a request from Super Mario Logan fans. Thanks. It was a tyrannosauroid that lived in the Cretaceous in what is now New Jersey in the U.S., and it was a large bipedal carnivore. It was estimated to grow up to 25 feet or seven and a half meters long, and it weighed about 1.7 tons. That's based on one specimen. Dryptosaurus is famous because of Charles Knight's painting of leaping laylaps, because Dryptosaurus used to be known as laylaps. Charles Knight's leaping laylaps was one of the first, maybe even the first, depiction of theropods as active and agile, which was pretty early on. Yeah, back when everyone else was drawing them as lumbering, slow reptiles. And they did so for many years after. Laylaps, or Dryptosaurus, is one of the Bone Wars dinosaurs. There was some fights over at between Copa Marsh, and we talk about that in more detail in our episode 250, which is all about the Bone Wars. Dryptosaurus may have had an arctometatarsalian foot, like Albertosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, where the third toe is pinched in between the second and fourth toes. Dryptosaurus had relatively short arms and long fingers, but even though they were relatively short, they were still long arms compared to dinosaurs like T-Rex. Proportionally speaking. Yeah. They had large hands with three fingers, though Brusati and others in 2011 found that it may have been similar to derived Tyrannosaurids and they may have had only two functional fingers. Dryptosaurus had these eight-inch talon-like claws, and having the big hands may mean that Tyrannosaurids did not uniformly shrink their forelimbs. It may be possible that Tyrannosaurids' arms got shorter before their hands got smaller, but we would need more fossils to know. Dryptosaurus had sharp, serrated teeth, and it may have used its arms and jaws when hunting and eating prey. It's not clear what exactly it ate. There's not many Cretaceous dinosaurs from the east coast of the U.S. that are known. It may have been hadrosaurs or nodosaurs, although those may have had too much armor. Dryptosaurus lived in a coastal environment, and during the late Cretaceous, there was a warm inland sea that separated western and eastern North America. So because of the sea, it was isolated from Tyrannosaurus and Triceratops and other dinosaurs of the west, and Dryptosaurus may have had more generalist features like earlier dinosaurs. There's not too many Dryptosaurus fossils known. So, like I mentioned, it's a Bone Wars dinosaur. It was described by Edward Drinker Cope in 1866 as laylaps. And laylaps means hurricane or storm wind. And that's the name of the dog in Greek mythology that always caught what it hunted. But it turns out that the name laylaps had already been used for a mite. So, Charles Marsh, not wanting to miss out on that opportunity, renamed it in 1877. (laughs) And the type species is Dryptosaurus aquilunguius. The genus name means tearing lizard, and the species name refers to its three-fingered hand and how it has claws like an eagle's. It's one of the first theropods known. Before Dryptosaurus, only theropod teeth had been found. The type specimen was found in New Jersey in the West Jersey Marl Company pit in the Hornerstone Formation in Barlesboro. Quarry workers collected the specimen. And the type specimen includes a fragmentary maxilla, fragmentary right dentary, vertebrae, parts of the hand, parts of the pubic bones, left femur, left tibia, left fibula, left astragalus. This one was probably a mature specimen. Dryptosaurus has a few different names and species. Most of these were considered dubious now. So again, back to Laylaps. Cope named Laylaps trihedrodon in 1877 based on a partial dentary that's now missing that was found in Colorado in the Morrison Formation. And yes, he knew that Marsh had renamed his dinosaur, but he refused to accept it. (laughs) Again, we go into this in episode 250. So five partial tooth crowns that were thought to be this type of Laylaps, Laylaps trihedrodon, are now thought that they could belong to Allosaurus. Cope also named Laylaps macropus based on a partial hind limb that Joseph Lady had thought was Coelosaurus, but had longer toes. But in 2017, that was named a new genus, Tehyvenator. Tryptosaurus is considered to be a primitive tyrannosauroid, though it took some time. It's been classified in the past as megalosaurid, salurosaur, etc. Gary Vecchiarelli worked on Project Dryptosaurus, and he reviewed the history and significance of Dryptosaurus with the goal to put a full reconstruction of Dryptosaurus on display at the New Jersey State Museum, which I think is the skeletal version of Leaping Laylaps that they have had on display since 2016. I think so, too. Yeah, we mentioned this on our show. It looks really awesome. Yeah, it does. Yeah, being able to see Leaping Laylaps in that way. Yeah, I was just wondering who made it. Now you know. (laughs) <laughs> Paleo artist Tyler Keller also crowdsourced funding and made a life-size replica of Dryptosaurus for the Dunn Museum in Libertyville, Illinois. 
if you want to see another Dryptosaurus. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.